Janitor required in bathroom. Announcement. The timetable is now live. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. Some expressions are more than a little strange, like getting up on the wrong side of the bed. What are you talking about? If you're having a lousy day, there's no need to vilify half of your mattress, my man. Jeez, just have a bagel or something. There's enough negativity in the world. It's the end of today's show, but don't worry, every ending is the opportunity for you to, you know, go and do something else.
When life flushes a toilet, it starts showing a cool movie at that theater downtown. So, have a good one, my friends. See you next time. Frequently asked questions. No, I will not be your friend. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry. Frequently asked questions. No, I'm not seeing your frog. Not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. to Campus Radio. I'm Maggie Watmore and I just learned what this button does. I'm not sure when I would use it, but I suppose it's good to know. One more time. Excellent. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely.
We've just completed a research project. Well done. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. I can't read what this next segment is about because I've lost my glasses, but I am told that that's quite ironic. So yeah, here's Hugh. Yes, it's not quite business as usual here at Duckworth Campus Food Court, where one of the servers has lost a contact lens. Unfortunately, they do believe the lens was lost during the preparation of a particularly big lasagna. They're asking every student to check their portion before they chew. But as of yet, no sight of the missing lens. Students are reminded that they don't have to ask to go to the toilet.
frequently asked questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. Here's Wanda, who'll be telling us the coolest way to get around. Yes, the bus is the new hot way to travel. Have you been on the bus? Oh, it's amazing. They're like huge cars. I am obsessed. And you don't have to drive. You can look at the scenery, check your phone, you know, all the fun stuff you usually do while driving. But this way, it's much more safe. It doesn't matter how desperate you are. No urinating on campus facilities. Plagiarism is not a belief system. Students are asked not to ask questions. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses. Beaver from Bungle. The small car that makes the little things feel bigger than they are. It's a perspective thing.
hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. That's all from us today at Campus Radio. As expected, there wasn't really a good opportunity to use that button during the show, so before we leave, I thought we'd have one more go. There you have it. talking on campus. Thank you.
We are approaching the end of the academic year. Try not to worry. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt. The academic year is over. Students must vacate the campus. The campus just got bigger, not necessarily better. The Harrison Wolf Show, baby. All right. Hey, this is Harrison Wolf, and thanks for stopping by. Today, we're going to be talking about a subject that's near and dear to my heart. The one thing you need when things are getting hairy. You hear something funny outside, or you're just hiding from the milkman. That's right. Today, we're talking panic rooms. Thank you. 
Every good panic room starts with its supplies. Now some things are a must. Your crackers, your flashlight, your bottles of water, sure. But don't be afraid to show some reality. I for one keep a bowling ball in my panic room. I find it's the perfect place to practice. Attention, your finger is not a toothbrush. expensive and education is priceless. Stupid questions will make you look stupid. Now, when it comes to surveillance, I'm strictly an anti-camera kind of guy. My philosophy is, I can't see you, you can't see me. So, I like to keep things as low-tech as possible. I'd recommend strategically placed strings attached to some bells. You hear a ring, and you got yourself a visitor. Of course, sometimes it's the doorbell, and you really do have a visitor. If you want to get real crafty, just leave a load of rakes in your yard. No one suspects a rake in the yard, but you'll hear the sucker when he steps on one and takes a handle to the chops. Ouch. Students are reminded to find themselves.
students are reminded to send reminders. should be checked in and then removed immediately. What am I going to do with my life? I just don't know. Orb. Huh? What? Come to an Orb Foundation Learning Center and replace your mind with the power of the Orb. Oh, amazing. I'll do that then. Thanks. Students are reminded that you came here on purpose. Ask questions. No, your chicken should not be pink.
Here's a question from Gyro in Duckworth. What is some of your favorite panic room pastimes? And thanks for the question, Gyro. I find that you can have a lot of fun with a little bouncy ball. In fact, one time I was bouncing, lost track of time, and it turned out that I'd been doing it for 16 hours. I went cold turkey after that, meaning I was hungry and took a turkey sandwich out of the freezer. Mmm. Turkey. There's a fly in here. Here's one for the more advanced panickers amongst you. It's important to be one step ahead. What do I mean by that? Well, you could do a number of things. You could have a trap door for sneaky getaway. You could install your panic room in a hall of mirrors. Or you could hang a sign on the door that says, out for lunch. <laughs> they won't know what's hit them.
Education is non-refundable. Let's take one more question before we wrap up here. Hmm, here's a good one. What type of wood would you recommend for the furniture in your panic room? Well, you can't go wrong with oak. That baby's a classic for a reason. Me, personally, I like maple. It's heavy, and I like the added water resistance. Plus, it's fun to say. Maple. to the hospital. Thank you. to build your brand new panic rooms. Don't forget to take a radio so Harrison can come along for the ride. Now, I, I know what you're thinking, but Harrison, can't they track me with the frequencies? And the answer is probably yes, but the Harrison Wolf Show is worth the risk. Happy hiding, listeners. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses.
Skills are non-transferable. No, I will not be your friend. Asked questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. should be checked in and then removed immediately. End of year is approaching. It's too late to start trying.
Sir Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. Beautiful day in this little county of ours. Not that I'd know, of course. No windows in the old recording booth. And while I have made several 